You think creatine is just for bigger muscles. But what if I told you that the most profound benefit of this popular supplement isn't for your body, but for your brain? Here's the thing. If you've been struggling with mental fatigue or brain fog and tried everything else, but nothing has worked, it could be that your brain is starved for energy. And this could be the fix that you've been looking for. So if you'll give me just a few minutes of your time, you'll find out quickly if adding creatine to your daily supplement regimen will solve this for you. And that's next. Your brain is the greediest organ you have. It's only about 2% of your body weight, but it burns a massive 20% of your body's total energy just sitting still. Every thought, decision, and memory runs on incredible metabolic power. This energy comes from a molecule called ATP, produced in your mitochondria. And it's used for energy every single second of every hour, all day long but your brain can't store much ATP. It operates on a tight, just-in-time energy supply. When your mental demand outruns the supply, your brain is running on empty. Your thinking speed slows to a crawl. You can't remember what you were about to say. Conversations are difficult and on the edge of embarrassing. This is the biological reality of brain fog and mental fatigue. So, how do we give our brain a bigger, more reliable energy reserve? And that's next, so stay with me. Creatine is not a synthetic drug. It's a natural compound that your body makes in your liver, kidneys, and pancreas. It's made from the amino acids larginine, glycine, and L-methionine, which you get from eating red meat and fish. Now here's how it works on a cellular level. When your brain cells use adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, for energy, that molecule becomes adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, which can no longer be used for energy. And this is where creatine comes in. Most of the creatine in your body is stored as phosphocreatine, which acts like a power bank for your cells. When ATP becomes ADP, phosphocreatine steps in and instantly donates its phosphate group rapidly recharging ADP back into high-energy ATP. This process is much faster than if your body is making new ATP from scratch by using glucose and fatty acids. It provides immediate power for high-demand situations, whether that's weightlifting or solving a complex problem. By increasing your brain's fossil creatine reserve, you give it a bigger buffer against mental fatigue. Now stay with me because next I'm going to prove to you why supplementing creatine could be the best decision you've made in a while. Creatine was identified way back in 1832, and science has been researching it in every way possible since then. Thousands of studies have been done on physical and brain health and how they're related to creatine. Recently, a research team at the University of Sydney worked with 45 young adult vegetarians. These young vegetarians found that supplementing with creatine had a significant positive effect on working memory and intelligence. Another study at the University of Sunderland in the UK worked with 34 healthy men and women, all around 21 years old. These young people found that supplementing with creatine increased attention span, IQ, and working memory. The research also shows that creatine can improve how fast people process information, meaning you can perform mental tasks more quickly. One of the most fascinating areas of research is how creatine works while you're under stress, like sleep deprivation. A 2024 study looked at sleep-deprived people who took a single higher dose of creatine. The results were remarkable. Those who took creatine performed better on cognitive tasks, with improvements in processing capacity and short-term memory that lasted for up to nine hours. This all shows that creatine acts as a potent buffer, helping your brain resist the mental decline that you experience when you don't get enough sleep. Other research has shown similar benefits for people with traumatic brain injury, where creatine helped reduce dizziness and fatigue. Next, you'll find out who benefits the most from supplementing creatine every day. Stay with me for just a couple more minutes. While many people can benefit from supplementing creatine, the research shows that some specific groups of people get the biggest cognitive improvements. 
Vegetarians and vegans are at the top of the list for benefiting from creatine supplementation because creatine is naturally found in animal foods. So if you don't eat meat, you'll have lower creatine levels in your body and brain. One well-known study found that giving creatine to vegetarians led to a 20 to 50% improvement on some memory and intelligence tests. That's a lot. Another group near the top of the list is older adults, because as we age, our natural creatine levels decline and memory and recall also declines. Several studies have shown that creatine can significantly improve memory in older adults, with one analysis noting the benefits were especially strong for those aged 66 to 76. And finally, if you deal with a lot of mental stress, like students during exams or professionals on a tight deadline, you'll stand to benefit from supplementing with creatine. When you recharge your backup energy reserves, creatine helps your brain keep performing even when pushed to its limits. Next, I'll tell you how much creatine you can safely use every day and who should not be using creatine at all. The most studied, effective, and cheapest form of creatine to buy is creatine monophosphate. The recommended adult dose is three to five grams of creatine per day. This maintenance dose will gradually saturate your body and brain's creatine stores over a few weeks. Now, some newer research su suggests that for full body benefit, including for your brain, starting with a slightly higher dose of around 10 grams per day, we call this an attack dose, and you'll build your creatine stores faster. And then, within a week or less, you should be able to reduce your dose back to the safer 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day. Now let's talk about the biggest myth about creatine and if it's safe to use. Creatine is one of the most researched supplements in the world, and the science is overwhelming that it's safe for healthy people. The myth that it damages your kidneys just won't die, but it's based on old, misunderstood reports. Taking creatine can slightly raise blood levels of creatinine, which is a marker doctors use to check kidney function. But this small rise does not mean that your kidneys are damaged. It's just a harmless byproduct of you having more creatine in your system. Many long-term studies have proven creatine does not harm the kidneys of healthy people. Of course, if you're dealing with kidney disease, you should talk to your doctor before you start supplementing creatine. Note that a large 2016 clinical study found that creatine supplementation when combined with a daily caffeine use of 300 milligrams or more increased the progression of Parkinson's disease. So if you have Parkinson's and you use caffeine, for example, just several cups of coffee during your day in any form, you should avoid supplementing with creatine. So is creatine essential for brain function? For most, essential is probably too strong a word. But the evidence is clear that creatine plays a critical role in brain energy production. For some, it's not just a supplement. It's a powerful tool for a higher performing brain. First, your brain is incredibly energy hungry and runs on a just-in-time supply of ATP energy. Second, creatine acts as your brain's backup power supply, rapidly recharging energy so that you can function at a higher level, especially when you're tired or stressed. Third, the science is strong that creatine can also improve memory, with the biggest benefits seen in vegetarians, older adults, and anyone dealing with higher mental stress. Creatine is more than just a muscle supplement. It's a fundamental compound that fuels your mind. The research shows it's safe, effective, and it's an easy way to support your health and the performance of your most vital organ, your brain. I recommend skipping all the creatine nitrates and ethyl esters and malates and HCLs and others and stick with creatine monohydrate in powder form. I use and recommend Onnit creatine because it's pure and was approved by Men's Health as the best creatine supplement of 2025. You'll find a link to Onnit creatine below this video. Try adding creatine to your daily supplement stack today. Now, if you have questions or you already use creatine, leave your questions and comments below. And please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I need your help to hit 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Join our membership for some great perks like monthly Q&A live streams and info and tips that I only share with our private members group. And if you need my personal help, the link to my calendar is below this video. So go watch my video called The Shocking Truth About Fish Oil Next. 
and thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, and I'll see you again soon.